what is it like to be you? This simple question opens a door to one of the most profound mysteries in existence, human consciousness. We all experience the world from a unique internal perspective. We feel emotions, have thoughts and experience the world around us with a vividness that is difficult to describe. But what exactly is this inner world and how does it arise? The nature of consciousness has puzzled philosophers and scientists for centuries. It remains one of the most fundamental and challenging questions facing humanity. How does a physical brain, a collection of cells and electrical impulses give rise to the subjective experience of being? The quest to understand consciousness is not merely an intellectual exercise. It has profound implications for how we understand ourselves, our place in the universe and the very nature of reality itself. By delving into the mystery of the mind, we embark on a journey of self-discovery that has the potential to transform how we live and interact with the world. Imagine consciousness as a kind of inner space, a vast and intricate universe existing within each of us. Like the cosmos, it is filled with a dazzling array of phenomena, thoughts that flicker like stars, emotions that surge like waves, and sensations that paint a vibrant tapestry of experience. Just as the universe is governed by laws of physics, consciousness seems to operate according to its own set of principles. Thoughts arise and dissolve, emotions ebb and flow, and sensations come and go in a constant dance of change. Yet despite this ever-shifting landscape, there is a sense of continuity, a persistent eye that experiences it all. Understanding this inner universe requires us to move beyond the physical realm and explore the subjective dimensions of experience. It is here, in the realm of feelings, perceptions and thoughts, that the true nature of consciousness reveals itself. To unravel its mysteries, we must become explorers of our own inner space. The quest to understand consciousness is not new. Ancient cultures across the globe developed sophisticated systems of thought that grappled with the nature of the mind and its relationship to the body and the cosmos. In Mesopotamia, the heart was considered the seat of consciousness and thought. The Egyptians believed in a life force called Ka that animated the body and persisted after death. In ancient China, the concept of Xin encompassed both the heart and the mind, emphasizing the interconnectedness of thought, emotion and physical being. Buddhism, with its emphasis on mindfulness and meditation, developed an intricate understanding of the workings of the mind. Buddhist teachings emphasize the impermanent and ever-changing nature of consciousness, highlighting the illusion of a separate, enduring self. The human brain is a complex and mysterious organ, a marvel of biological engineering that continues to baffle scientists and researchers. It can create beauty, like a painter crafting a masterpiece and solve complex problems, like an engineer designing intricate machinery. But it can also play tricks on us, distorting our perception and creating illusions that challenge our understanding of reality. One of the most fascinating and perplexing mysteries of the brain is phantom limb syndrome. This is a condition where people who have lost a limb still feel sensations, sometimes vividly, in the missing limb. Imagine a world where your body felt incomplete, yet your mind insists that the missing part is still there. The space where your arm once was still tingles with the presence as if it never left. This is the reality for many amputees who experience phantom limb syndrome, a condition that can be both fascinating and frustrating. Michael W., a Vietnam War veteran, lost his arm in combat, a sacrifice that left a lasting impact on his life. Years later, he still vividly felt his phantom arm reaching for his morning coffee, a daily reminder of his lost limb. Phantom limb syndrome can be a perplexing and often distressing experience causing emotional and physical discomfort. The brain, accustomed to receiving signals from the missing limb, struggles to adapt to the new reality, creating a sense of confusion. This results in a kind of neural echo, where sensations persist long after the physical limb is gone, a ghostly reminder of what once was. The experience varies from person to person, with some feeling pain itching or even a sense of movement in their phantom limb, each sensation unique and personal. The phenomenon of phantom limbs challenges our understanding of the brain and its relationship to the body, pushing the boundaries of neuroscience. It suggests that our sense of self extends beyond our physical form, raising profound questions about the nature of perception, consciousness and the human experience. 
Dr. V. S. Ramachandran, a renowned neuroscientist, dedicated years to unraveling the mysteries of phantom limb syndrome, a condition where amputees feel sensations often painful in their missing limbs. He theorized that the brain, in its attempt to make sense of the missing limb, creates a map that still includes the lost appendage, as if it were still there. This map, however, is no longer receiving feedback from the real world, leading to a confusing and often painful experience for the individual. To address this perplexing issue, Ramachandran developed an ingenious device called the mirror box. The box uses a mirror to reflect the image of the intact limb, creating a visual illusion that the missing limb is present, tricking the brain. This visual feedback, Ramachandran found, could trick the brain into updating its internal map, effectively recalibrating its perception. Patients with phantom limb pain experience significant relief when they move their intact limb while looking at its reflection in the mirror box. The brain, tricked into perceiving movement in the phantom limb, seemed to recalibrate its pain signals, reducing the discomfort. Ramachandran's work demonstrated the remarkable plasticity of the brain, its ability to reorganize and adapt even after significant injury or loss. The mirror box, while simple in its design, offered a powerful tool for understanding and treating phantom limb syndrome, showcasing the brain's adaptability. It highlighted the crucial role of visual feedback in shaping our body image and the brain's remarkable capacity for change, emphasizing the importance of sensory input in neural reorganization. Near-death experiences, or NDEs, are another intriguing phenomenon that provides a glimpse into the mysteries of consciousness and the human mind. People who have come close to death often report profound, often inexplicable experiences that challenge our understanding of life and death. These experiences can include feelings of peace, out-of-body sensations, or encounters with deceased loved ones, leaving a lasting impact on those who experience them. Pam Reynolds, a young woman from Atlanta, had a life-altering experience during a critical brain surgery that would change her perspective forever. To operate on a life-threatening aneurysm, doctors had to induce a state of clinical death, a risky but necessary procedure. During this time, Pam's brain activity ceased, her heart stopped beating and her body lay still on the operating table, devoid of any signs of life. Yet, upon regaining consciousness, Pam recounted a vivid and detailed account of her experience during the surgery, which astonished the medical team. She described floating above her body, observing the surgical procedure with astonishing accuracy, and even hearing conversations among the medical staff, which were later verified. Pam's case, along with countless others, raises profound questions about the nature of consciousness and its relationship to the physical body, challenging our scientific paradigms. NDEs offer a tantalizing glimpse into the possibility that consciousness may not be entirely dependent on the brain, suggesting a deeper, perhaps spiritual dimension. Could these experiences be remnants of neural activity or do they point to something beyond our current understanding of science? The debate continues, inviting further exploration and study. Dr. Pim van Lommel, a Dutch cardiologist, dedicated his entire career to studying NDEs. Intrigued by the accounts of his patients who had survived cardiac arrest, he embarked on a groundbreaking study involving over 300 survivors. Van Lommel meticulously documented their experiences, exploring the common threads that wove through their fascinating narratives. His research revealed striking similarities in the NDE accounts. Many patients reported feeling a profound sense of peace and tranquility, often accompanied by a detachment from their physical bodies. They described encountering a bright light, feeling a sense of unconditional love and acceptance, and reviewing their life choices. Van Lommel's findings challenged conventional medical explanations for NDEs. The consistency and clarity of these experiences, even in cases where brain activity had ceased, suggested that consciousness might not be solely a product of the brain. His work ignited a debate within the scientific community, prompting further exploration into the nature of consciousness and the possibility of its survival beyond physical death. The study of NDEs, though still shrouded in mystery, holds the potential to revolutionize our understanding of life, death, and the enigmatic nature of human consciousness. Today, modern science is beginning to unlock some of the mysteries of consciousness.
Neuroscience, psychology and computer science are converging to offer new insights into how the brain gives rise to subjective experience. Integrated Information Theory IIT, proposes that consciousness arises from the complexity of information processed by a system. Global Workspace Theory GWT, suggests that consciousness acts as a kind of mental blackboard where information from different brain regions is integrated and broadcast. Higher order theories posit that consciousness arises from higher level brain processes that monitor and reflect upon lower level sensory experiences. Predictive processing models suggest that the brain is constantly generating predictions about the world and updating them based on sensory input, with consciousness arising from the mismatch between predictions and reality. While each of these theories offers valuable insights, a complete understanding of consciousness remains elusive. The subjective nature of experience presents a unique challenge for scientific inquiry as it is difficult to measure and quantify something that is inherently personal and private. And Section 5. Illuminating the brain's network. Recent advances in brain imaging techniques have allowed scientists to peer into the living brain with unprecedented detail. These studies have revealed intricate networks of interconnected brain regions that work together to produce conscious experience. One key area of interest is the default mode network, or DMN, a collection of brain regions that are active when we are not focused on the external world. The DMN is thought to be involved in self-awareness, introspection and the construction of our internal narrative. Researchers are also exploring the role of specific neurotransmitters, such as dopamine and serotonin, in modulating consciousness. These chemical messengers play a crucial role in regulating mood, attention and perception, all of which contribute to our overall experience of the world. Section 6 Quantum Consciousness – A Leap Into the Unknown some scientists believe that the mysteries of consciousness may require us to look beyond classical physics and explore the realm of quantum mechanics. Quantum processes such as superposition and entanglement suggest that the universe may be fundamentally interconnected in ways that challenge our conventional understanding of reality. One prominent theory, Orchestrated Objective Reduction, or OR, proposes that consciousness arises from quantum computations occurring within microtubules tiny structures found within brain cells. While still speculative, these ideas offer tantalizing glimpses into the potential role of quantum phenomena in the brain. The exploration of quantum consciousness is still in its infancy. However, it highlights the willingness of some scientists to consider radical new ideas in the quest to understand the mind. Section 7 Altered states expanding the map of consciousness. Our understanding of consciousness is not limited to our everyday waking experience. Altered states of consciousness, such as dreams, meditation and psychedelic experiences, offer unique windows into the full spectrum of the mind's capabilities. Dreams provide a glimpse into the unconscious mind, revealing a world of symbolic imagery, suppressed emotions and unfiltered creativity. Meditation practices, cultivated for centuries in various traditions, can induce states of deep relaxation, heightened awareness and profound insights into the nature of self. Psychedelic substances, while controversial, have been used in some cultures for spiritual and healing purposes. These powerful agents can induce profound alterations in perception, thought and sense of self, challenging our assumptions about the nature of reality and the boundaries of consciousness. Section 8. Luminaries on the Nature of Awareness Throughout history, brilliant minds have grappled with the enigma of consciousness, offering profound insights and thought-provoking perspectives. Albert Einstein, renowned for his groundbreaking work in physics, recognized the limitations of science in fully explaining the subjective experience of awareness. Carl Jung, a pioneer in the field of psychology, explored the depths of the unconscious mind, emphasizing the role of archetypes, symbols and the collective unconscious in shaping our conscious experience. David Chalmers, a contemporary philosopher, has reignited the debate on consciousness with his concept of the hard problem highlighting the inherent difficulty in explaining how physical processes give rise to subjective feelings and experiences. 
These diverse perspectives remind us that the mystery of consciousness is not confined to any one discipline or worldview. It is a question that demands our continued exploration and contemplation. Section 9. Cultivating Inner Awareness – A Practical Guide while the scientific study of consciousness continues to evolve, we can all embark on a personal journey of self-discovery by cultivating greater awareness of our own inner world. Mindfulness meditation practiced for centuries in Buddhist traditions offers a powerful tool for training attention, calming the mind and developing a more intimate relationship with our own thoughts, feelings and sensations. Journaling provides a space for self-reflection, allowing us to explore our inner landscape through writing. By putting our thoughts and feelings into words, we can gain greater clarity, process emotions, and uncover hidden patterns in our thinking. Spending time in nature has been shown to have numerous benefits for both mental and physical well-being. Immersing ourselves in the natural world can help to quiet the mind, reduce stress, and foster a sense of awe and wonder that connects us to something larger than ourselves. Section 10. The Convergence of Wisdom, Science, and Self-Discovery. The quest to understand consciousness is ultimately a journey of self-discovery. By exploring both ancient wisdom and modern scientific insights, we can gain a deeper appreciation for the miracle of our own existence. The human mind, with its capacity for thought, emotion, creativity and self-awareness, is a testament to the extraordinary complexity and beauty of the universe. As we continue to explore the mysteries of consciousness, we must remain open to new ideas challenge our assumptions and embrace the unknown. The journey may be challenging but the rewards are immeasurable. By cultivating inner awareness and embracing the interconnectedness of all things, we can unlock our full potential and live more meaningful and fulfilling lives.